Okay, so here's a fun project. A friend of mine recently bought an e-golf, and this car had a nice feature that I got really jealous of. It was possible to set the max charge power from within the car. This is lacking from the leaf, and if you want this, you have to get an expensive EVSE that has some adjustment on it. Some of you might ask why this limit is needed, so here's a few reasons. Number one. You can get one cheap, really powerful EVSC and use it on any plug. If you encounter a sketchy slash old power outlet, just turn down the charge rate from within the car. Number two, you can charge from a portable generator. Most of the emergency generators are specced at two kilowatts of power, and this is often not enough for the EVSC that comes with the car, and you risk overloading the generator. By setting a max limiter of around 1 kilowatt, you can use these generators in an emergency. Number three, you live in a place where there is a risk of brownout. This is kind of like reason number one, but say you are charging right when power demand is highest, maybe you are cooking or running a powerful water heater, then you might not want to put another large load on the system. Okay, so now when we know why this is needed, so let's go back in time and check out when I first tested this feature. I was at a summer cottage and I only brought my powerful 3.3 kilowatt charger and didn't want to load the system that much. Oh, and I was a bit tired, so excuse me a bit. Let's take a look. I'm Dala. It's late and I'm going to be charging my car at this summer cottage. The charger that I brought with me is a 3.3 kilowatt charger, but um, the outlet is not really capable of this and the charger it's not really possible to tune the power down. So now I'm going to be demonstrating the charge current uh, application feature that I've implemented in the latest firmware. So yeah, with no further ado, here is how I'm going to lower the charge current down to 2 kilowatts of power. Let's go! Okay, so the car is currently charging at 16 amps, that is 3.3 kilowatts of power. So now I'm going to be demonstrating how to turn this down. So first I'm gonna turn on the car. The car is charging. And to access this setting, I'm gonna switch the state of charge display in front, so you can see that. So now I'm gonna turn on the HVAC system, and I'm gonna set the fan to max and put on recirculation. And the car has to be charging in order to set this limit. So now I'm putting on the recirculation and the fan. Fan is set to max. And here you can see we are now at 6.6, 6 kilowatt, 5 kilowatt, 4 kilowatt, 3 kilowatt, 2 kilowatt. Here I stop. I turned off the fan. And I'm gonna push off recirc. And the state of charge went back to showing actual state of charge. But now we should have a 2 kilowatt limiter in effect. And we are now going to verify this on the OVMS system. So now just waiting for that to update. Okay, so it turns out that LeafSpy did not work the way I thought it was gonna work. But if you look at the screenshot, you can see that if we multiply the voltage by the amp, it's actually putting slightly below two kilowatts into the battery. So the charge limiter is actually active. So for anyone wondering how this works, there is a link in the description to a GitHub repository where this code is available. The functionality is available to all my battery upgrade customers starting from firmware version 2.22. Also to customers that bought the Leaf Enhancer software. 
The code runs on a CanBridge, mm-hmm. as usual with my projects. And to achieve this functionality, we modify a CAN message that is sent from the battery to the car, containing information about the maximum power that the battery is willing to accept. More specifically, the LB Max Power for Charger, located in the 0x1DC message. I am using the same visualization technique as with the battery saver functionality, so accessing this is done via the HVAC controls. Do check out the code if you are interested. Finally, I would like to thank all Patreon supporters for making this video possible. If you are interested in getting early access to videos, softwares and articles, please consider checking it out. Links in the description. Bye!